This video walks through the features of version 2 of our multimedia analysis tool, Canopy. Canopy is a collection of novel interactive visualizations that work together to help users understand the relationships in mixed media data collections. Let's open up Canopy and load in a project that has already been processed. I created this project from files that resided on a hard drive. When I processed the project, Canopy extracted the files and broke them down into smaller elements. In addition to image, video, and text files, Canopy can pull apart compound document types like PDF, PowerPoint, and Word into those elements. These elements know which parent documents they came from and who their siblings are. Videos are divided into visually similar shots, and each shot is represented in the tool with a single key image. The dashboard view shows that I uploaded over 5,000 files that are Word, PDF, text, image, and video files from a computer hard drive. Canopy extracted the text and images from the composite documents, resulting in more than 15,000 elements. The dashboard gives me a visual overview of my project, showing me any tags the system found in the metadata of the processed files, a visual preview of how the text elements clustered, and an image cloud showing a sample of the most representative images. Let's take a closer look at the images and video keyframes in my project by opening up the image grid visualization. This view shows every image in this project and lets me quickly scroll through them and sort by various attributes. The real power, however, is in image comparison and its ability to show related images. For example, I'm interested in the race cars in this project. When I select one, it gets a blue border, and the images that Canopy identified as being visually related get a white border. The scroll bar shows more white-related images are scattered throughout my collection. When I change the sort to Related, the blue selected image moves to the far left, and all of the white-related images stack up below it. It looks like several of the matches are cars, but some appear to have matched because a number of uncorrelated visual features have been detected. Selecting two more race cars allows Canopy to display additional results based on the new selection. Note that Canopy's algorithms don't know that this is a car. It makes matches based on common visual traits between images. When I scroll to the right, I see lots of car matches sorted by relevance. The relationship slider graphically shows me the strength of matches, and I can slide this marker to the right to focus on the strongest matches. The preview panel shows details about the currently selected element, including any parent or sibling elements. For example, I can quickly see that this image comes from a PDF document, and I can read the accompanying text right here in the preview pane. The image grid also matches keyframes from video shots, indicated by a film strip icon like this. If I select a video frame, the video loads into the preview pane and cues the video to that shot. Of historic... And from here, I can view any shot in the video. Expanding the preview pane full screen lets me see the shot in context, and I can get a good feel for the contents of the video. The metadata section also provides information about the video, including a hashtag for comparisons in other systems. To explore videos in more detail, let's use the film strip visualization. Similar to the image grid, the film strip shows all the video content in my project and lets me find visually related shots. Shots are automatically created from similar sections of the video, and each shot is represented with a keyframe. I can skim a video by simply hovering over the shots. When I select a shot, it turns blue, and all visually related shots turn white. Filmstrip has the same relationship slider as other tools in Canopy, and I can adjust it to focus on the strongest matches. When I sort by related, the videos with the matching shots move to the top. An even more visual way to see relationships across multimedia files is in the arc weld. The arc weld visualization divides the content into bins, and then displays those bins in a circle. The middle segments represent the parent documents, and the inner segments represent child elements of that document. I can open up each arc into its own circle to see it in higher fidelity. For example, here in the videos arc, I can see all of the video content and how shots are related. When I select a whole video, ArcWeld draws relationship lines to other related elements. Moving the relationship slider to show only the strongest matches lets me see that this video is made by splicing sections of two other videos together.
Since Canopy maintains the parent-child relationships in complex documents, it can do some powerful things. For example, searching for Apple will only find the text elements in the project. The text search can't match any images, but if the sibling elements are highlighted, I can find images that are in the same parent documents that have the text Apple in them. Now I see lots of apples, like Apple Computer, Apple Records, and the fruit. If I only want the fruit documents, I select the fruit images, and then add the highlighted sibling text documents to my selection. Now I have a mix of text and images about the apple fruit. I can save this result for later by tagging them with apple. This allows me to come back to this result set later, or add new apple-related items as I find them. Tags can be viewed from the summary panel, which also shows any system-generated tags from file metadata, like camera, make, and model. The Canopy Suite is positioned to fundamentally change the landscape for how multimedia analysis is performed. The combination of its enterprise platform, its powerful extraction and analytic algorithms, guided by its user interface and interactive visualizations, provide a broader picture of the information and its relationships, and allows the user to gain the insight needed for more productive and efficient discovery.